Hello, good people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. Finally, the governor of Anambra State has reacted to the issue of uh, the um, Attorney General of the Federation declaring state of emergency in Anambra State. Don't forget that there had been a lot of things happening in uh, that southeastern state, different forms of killing and all of that. Um, and yesterday, Malami said that he was going to declare a state of emergency in a number of states, and it has attracted a lot of reactions from Nigeria. Today, the governor has finally spoken. Let's get to hear what he has to tell Nigerians. In the same vein, in another news, uh, Atiku Abubakar has also reacted over what has been most trending uh, when it has to do with presidency 2023 and i'm talking about the issue of zoning and rotation of an opportunity to be the president of nigeria we're going to hear exactly what he has to say in that regards but before we do that if you've not subscribed to our channel kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos now according to the news the governor of Anambra State, Governor Willie Obiano, says the possibility of a declaration of a state of emergency in his state is not an idea of President Muhammadu Buhari. The governor said this on Wednesday while speaking with State House correspondent after me meeting with President in Presidential Villa Aso Rock. He said the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, had been reported to President Buhari over the issue. He described the threat of emergency rule as unfortunate and wondered why the minister had not contemplated the imposition of emergency rule in states where there had been a lot of killings. That, according to him, he said that very that's very unfortunate coming by the Attorney General of the Federation. Very unfortunate. I also reported that to the president, and this is not in the book of the president because he knows that Anambra has been the safest state in Nigeria for seven years plus. Obianu, who promised to call the Attorney General of the Federation to express his mind to him over the suggestion said apart from the recent security crisis, Anambra state has been the most peaceful in the southeast region. The governor also countered the statement that members of the ruling All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, in the State House of Assembly had defected to All Progressive Congress, APC. He claimed what happened was the members who were given 100 million naira each to join APC, had, however, still remained in Abga. Now, in another news, with the lingling, lingering tussle between the southern and the northern governors on where the next president of the republic should come from as per zoning or power rotation, the former vice president, Atiku Abubakar, has declared that the president of Nigeria can come from any part of the country. It has been reported that the People Democratic Party PDP Convention Zoning Committee zoned the party's chairmanship to the north, a move that has been interpreted by political watchers to mean that the main opposition party will be looking to the south for its standard bearer in 2023 polls. Abubakar, while speaking at the National Executive Committee meeting of PDP in Abuja on Thursday, pointed out that the geopolitical zone of the president is not the solution to the problems of the country. According to him, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has the right to determine its rules and how the party should be governed. The people of Nigeria also have the right to determine who governs them. Where the president comes from has never been a problem of Nigeria. I can cite examples, neither will it be the solution. There is no such thing as president from southern Nigeria or a president from northern Nigeria. There is only one, a president from Nigeria for Nigeria and by Nigerians. Talking about inclusion, I would like to see a new national working committee of our party that has sizable numbers of youth and women. The decision of NEC today will either see us PDP in the villa in 2023 or not. Since the inception, 
this party has faced serious challenges and has risen above sentiment to solve those challenges and move forward. Mm, this is quite interesting looking at um, a lot of issues, especially when it has to do with declaring state of emergency in Anambra State. Now, first of all, Anambra State uh, fairly recently has been on the news for the wrong reason. And one of it was the issue of in-season, you know, um, killings that were going on there. And most especially the fact that it has a lot to do with, uh, you know, uh, taking down of people who... Uh, illustrious son of the land and it, it has triggered a lot of reactions from different quarters but when i turn general of the federation opportunity of talking about it he was kind of suggesting that a state of emergency should be declared in the you know in the state and it, it, a, lot, a lot of people lambasted him over the statement taking into consideration the fact that uh, there are many um many states in the northern part of nigeria who have been bombarded with uh, issues of banditry, issues of, uh, you know, killing virtually on a daily basis. And if there had never been a consideration in that regard, declaring a state of emergency, then it was obviously so wrong to do that also in, you know, the southern part of Nigeria where um, there had been so much peace, especially in Ambra State, there had been a lot of peace there for quite a, a, a while. According to Obiano, for seven years, they have enjoyed a peaceful atmosphere in the state. So this little issue that just come up does not warrant the, you know, Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice to suggest anything in that regard. And for me, I think it was a nice step taken by him going extra mile to meeting with the president just to prove a point that that statement was totally uncalled for. And I feel that, uh, you know, uh, um, the Attorney General of the Federation should be a little bit careful, especially in that regard, should guide his words uh, so that it will not end up triggering some more problems in the country. Now, let's look at the issue of zoning and rotation. I knew very well that this would uh, bring about a kind of division in you know the pdp which is the main opposition party because uh, for a while now the person of uh, you know the person of atiku abubaka has been the only person that had been considered for president for a while and he has not been performing you understand he has always been failing so still giving him the opportunities as if there is no better candidate to go out but guess what nigerians have already concluded political circle uh, the sentiment has been that if the northerners have ruled for eight years such opportunity should also be given to the southerners and from all indication with where things are going it seems that uh, um article may not be part of uh, of though he may be part of the primaries but he may likely not win i think that's why he's trying to see how he can play down on the issue of zoning and rotation of presidency uh, right now nigerians are tired of the not ruling eight years they have ruled so there is no need of considering ruling again for the next eight years if that happened then we are not so sure of what will be uh, what nigeria will turn out to be if only elections will hold you know next uh, in the next two years we'd like to leave it there go to our comments